man, does she have the jab working tonight. Beautifully done on that exchange. She's got it going, and it's so fast and so accurate. She's really good at fight behind her jab. Oh, nice jab. Oh, big punch land. All right, so a big round for her there. Not much wasted motion when it comes to the ground strikes. DC, take us through the highlights. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, when you watch someone that is so well-versed at ground and pound fighting, it is a joy to watch, especially for a guy like me. She did a great job of truly knowing exactly where she needed to go. She does not go crazy with strikes. She finds the correct time to throw them, and she makes every single one of them count. Nice strike landed there by Waterson. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick. Oh, she blocks the punch. Straight right hand, but she misses. Oh, nice. Good punch land. Not there. Lands with the right hand. Watterson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence to know that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, nice elbow. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crutch, taking for a Well, she did not miss a single grappling. Watterson's looking for that arm triangle now. She postures up here. Oh, oh man, that was slick. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Working out of the half guard here. Watterson's has got full mount now. Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's going to have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Well, she's got to protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's got to really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. And you start to work to try to get to your face and get back to your feet. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out the space. Oh! She blocked the punch. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Yeah, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Entry into the finish directly. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of fun as she ground and pound. And this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Just over a minute to go, round two. One, no hesitation. Oh! All right, 
So a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. And they separate. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. And there comes the separation now. What a punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right on the button. Just missed on the uppercut. Oh, nice. Oh, she goes by, and she did not miss there. This could be the end of I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Waterson's kick is blocked. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Oh, beautiful level change. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been... This is a terrible position. Starting to slip under the neck. Oh. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is. Wow. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So a dominant performance tonight for the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion of the World. Your winner by way of submission, and it is going to take a spectacular effort from another contender at 115 pounds to dethrone this talented champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a reverse triangle. And still, he's the undisputed UFC strongweight champion of the world, Martinez. All right, so congratulations to the still UFC strawweight champion of the world, and I am glad my daughters don't fight at 115 pounds. I mean, she is a savage. She understands what life is like as a UFC champion, while she does not want to experience the other side of living anymore. A great champion, a great fighter, who's going to be very difficult to take the belt from.